Hey Virgo, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So welcome to your general love reading for mid-April 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. And it is a general one, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can book a personal reading if you'd like more specific information for your situation. And you can find out all about that in the description box below this video. Also, I am offering cord cutting sessions at a discounted price for a limited time. If you're interested in one of those, please email me and I will send you everything you need to know. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on with you for the second half of April, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Okay, so for the situation, we have the Page of Swords crossed by the Ten of Pentacles. All right, um, so somebody is really wanting to communicate here or is very much interested in something to do with a particular commitment, possibly with you, because I'm seeing, it could be, it could be another commitment, because I feel like that has been a theme in like every single reading so far. Um, so just take it as it resonates. Um, but there's a commitment here and that is the challenge, right? The long-term stability. Um, there is a lot of either talking or discussions about this commitment or somebody just really being interested in researching more concerning this. Let's see. We'll see more when we clarify. All right. For your energy, we have the Nine of Wands, Judgment, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so you're, you're feeling tired. I feel like you feel like you have been dragging out something here for a very long time or just that the situation has been dragging out for a pretty long time and I feel like you were just very persistent, um, enduring a lot within this connection. And it feels like you're getting to this point where it's like you're making some kind of a discernment here um, or like having some kind of a wake up call where you're just like, you know what, um, I don't know, I think I kind of, you know, maybe want to do something else. But it's like there's, I'm not so sh I'm not sure how, how sure you are of this. I feel like there's, there might be a little bit of fluctuation, but for the most part, I see you wanting to move away from this, but we'll see when we clarify. Um, let's see for them. The star, okay, so Aquarius energy, the emperor, and the four of wands. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius, you might be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be. These are just the two that are popping out to me at the moment. So this is somebody who does have a lot of a lot of hope here, a lot of hope for this connection with you. Um, feeling like they can actually, you know, step up to the plate and bring this together. Or at least that's what they're wishing for. Potential outcome, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a plan that's being formulated here. Something is being formulated. Um, we're going to clarify and see what this is about. So let's see that page of swords with the ten of pentacles. The eight of cups. The page of pentacles and the five of cups. Well, it looks like there's a lot of talk and a lot of research concerning detaching from a particular commitment. Now, this could be you or this could be them. Um, but whoever it is that's in this energy, it does come with a lot of grief, a lot of pain, a lot of sadness. Um... Yeah, so, and I feel like that's what this whole talk is about. There seems to be discussions around this. So either between the two of you, or, you know, if this is you considering this, maybe you're discussing this with someone else, or maybe they are. 
but there are steps that are being taken in that direction of moving away from a particular situation. It's just causing a lot of grief from a commitment, um, a long-standing one. All right, let's see the Nine of Wands in your energy. Three of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, so yeah, you've either you've been wanting to talk to this person on a more emotional level, like wanting to discuss emotions or wanting this person to discuss emotions. Um, whatever the case is, you do have feelings for this person. Um, but it's been a long road trying to bring things to like a, a space where the two of you can either come together, right? Reconcile if there has been a separation or to just, you know, have things be at peace, have things be lighthearted, have things, you know, finally just be like, we can like celebrate this. So it's been like a very long haul. That's what, that's what I'm getting here. Like you've been dragging that out um, for a long time, possibly just either waiting for that or, um, or going after it. Let's see judgment. The Ten of Pentacles showing up again, and the world. It's like you're, you're either done waiting for a decision here to be made. I feel like that's the decision you're making, is to just close this out. Um, I feel like you are waiting for this Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, like dragging it out for, for a long time, waiting for this to happen. And it's like, you're closing that chapter. Or to you, it's it's feeling like this is, this is done, you know, like it's just not going to happen. Let me see the Knight of Wands. The Chariot. Okay, so Cancer Energy. And the Seven of Pentacles showing up again. Are you traveling? Because <laughs> uh, we have two travel cards here. Um, it almost feels like you're coming up with some kind of a, of a plan maybe or just trying to work things out in a way where you can either like literally physically move, maybe even move locations for some of you, or possibly just... It, maybe to even just distance yourself from this person or from this connection, situation, whatever. Um, for others of you, it might actually even be moving towards this person. Even if you feel like, you know, you're, that you're closing out this chapter of, of a commitment, um, there might still be some movement towards them. It's, it's going to be different for each of you. Some of you are moving towards them. Some of you are trying to move away from them. Um, it's like there's, there's an investment of energy here in some kind of moving, but this moving is like very, very strong. It's like a big movement energy. So... Yeah, you would know. Let's see what's going on with them. And I'm going to come back to your energy because I, I definitely feel like there's some messages here, some guidance here for you. Let's see. So for the star, we have the Two of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So this person has hope, you know, they're wishing, they're wanting this connection with you. Um, but there is a bit of procrastination here. There's procrastinating this action. There's action that's like always like at the tip of their tongue. Like they're always on the verge 
of this action um, to go after what they want here, which is you, but there's this procrastination, this holding back, um, like waiting for something. Let me see the emperor. The sun, okay, so Leo energy, and the moon, Pisces. So interesting that we have both the sun and the moon. Um, what is going on with this person? It's like two opposites. And I feel like really because we're clarifying the emperor, it's like something that has been repressed, something that has been hidden. It's coming up to the surface. It's being revealed because they're taking control of something here. Yes, they've been procrastinating some action, um, but they're stepping into this emperor's energy where something is being brought up to the light. So this could even be, you know, what it, whatever it is that is being discussed here about a particular commitment, which has to do with walking away from something here. Um, I feel like this person might even, it might even come off as them having like, two sides to them, like just seeing a completely different person one day and then a completely different person the next day, like night and day, basically. And I feel like that's because they, they're also fluctuating, possibly even in their moods, um, like how optimistic they feel about this situation and moving forward and then feeling pessimistic about it because there's also this Five of Cups attached to this. So it's like one day feeling very optimistic that they can go after what they want, but then the next day they feel pessimistic about it or they're feeling some fear and that's why they procrastinate. And that's why there's this overall procrastination here. But because we're clarifying the emperor, again, I feel like they're, they're beginning to take control over that and whatever it is that has been suppressed, repressed, or the shadows, the fears, it's like the sun is coming and shining, shining on those, illuminating that to come to the surface because light always overpowers dark. So the optimism is going to overpower the pessimism. Let's see this Four of Wands. The King of Wands and the Four of Cups. Yeah, so this person might have to be, um, they're, they're going through something where they're trying to overcome the dark side, the depression, possibly even settling in a situation that they're not happy in. So with the King of Wands here, I mean, they're really finding that strength to overcome that, to overcome whatever it is that is keeping them down, whatever it is that is killing their motivation to move forward towards that sun towards their guidance here, right, with the star. Towards what it is that they want. As for you, yeah, it's a little bit interesting here, that this last part. I feel like things for you might feel very uncertain Things for you might feel very uncertain, but what I'm getting looking at these cards for you is that you're closing out some kind of a cycle. It's just that, you know, you might have some impulsive um, urges, okay, that come as a result of closing out some kind of a cycle here, whatever, whatever that is for you. But that's okay because I feel like it's a, it's a work in progress. It's building up to something else. Um, I feel like the message for you is to, you know, um, take your time, take your time here with the Seven of Pentacles. There's no need to rush or act impulsively in any way, whether it's towards this or away from this or, you know, whatever it is. 
I mean, you can still end up taking this action, whatever action it is that you're moving towards, but there's no need to rush. So that's what I'm getting here. All right, so let's see the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, that Seven of Pentacles, I mean, it's also in the potential outcome here. All right, and we have the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Wands. All right, so yeah, see, there's, there's a painful situation here, basically. There is pain here, but see, you are recovering from it, whatever this is. There is healing that is happening, both for you as well as for the other person. There is healing, all right, following an ending. I feel like the worst part is behind you, basically. The worst part is behind you, and you're just being asked to take your time through it. Take your time through it. There's no need to rush anything, okay? Both the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, sometimes talk about patience, all right, waiting for something. Um, and it, this is in reference to this healing, which is happening after this Ten of Swords, after this pain. So, yeah. Virgo, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And let's see. And we have grounding. Go deep, explore your roots. So take that as it resonates for you. Maybe get in touch with nature. Um, maybe focus on your root chakra or just, you know, ground yourself in whatever way you like to do that. Um, yeah, go deep. <laughs> so grounding would be the opposite of moving fast. All right, so again, that's another confirmation here for that. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.